Hey guys, in today's video, we're comparing iOS 17 versus iOS 16.6 battery life. This is one of the most important questions for you guys, and iOS 17 will soon be released to the general public. So I wanted to test the battery performance of some of the older iPhones that support iOS 17. Now, if you want to watch a video on some of the newer iPhones like iPhone 14, 13, and 12, make sure to click that like button and let me know in those comments down below. But for this round, we chose iPhone 11, iPhone XR, and iPhone SE second generation. Now, here's what I did. So, of course, this was a test using a time lapse. So, we did about four hours of music playback and about four hours of video playback or until the phones actually died. And now, also, Bluetooth and Wi Fi was enabled on all devices. Of course, no low power mode was used at all for this test. And the screen brightness for all devices was set to 60. 60% for both rounds. So what I did was is I upgraded to iOS 17 and did the test and then downgraded to iOS 16.6 and did the exact same test and here are the results. So first let's take a look at iOS 16.6. Now what you're looking at here is from left to right the iPhone 11, the iPhone 10R and the iPhone SE second generation running iOS 16.6. Now the first iPhone to die was the iPhone SE second generation with about 6 hours of battery life then followed by the iPhone 10R with about six and a half hours of battery life and then of course the iPhone 11 with about seven hours of battery life running iOS 16.6. Now I do have to say these iPhones perform relatively well on the latest iOS 16.6. Of course, the software will continue to improve over time as Apple continues to release minor updates to iOS 16.6. But the real question is how these iPhones perform in iOS 17 so far. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so once again, what you're looking at here is a time lapse of iPhone 11, iPhone 10R, and iPhone SE running iOS 17. Again, same task were performed here. And the first iPhone to die was the iPhone SE second generation with about five and a half hours of on-screen time. Then followed by the iPhone 10R with about five and a half hours of on-screen time as well. And then the surprise of the day was actually the iPhone 11. The iPhone 11 died in about eight hours of on-screen time, which means that the iPhone 11 actually gained one hour approximately of on-screen time or battery life when using iOS 17. I was quite surprised about these results with the iPhone 11. So if you have an iPhone 11, it looks like so far the battery is actually better than it is in iOS 16, which I'm happy to report. Again, the same task, same brightness, same settings. The iPhone 10R lost about an hour to 30 minutes of on-screen time or lost about an hour and 30 minutes of battery life with iOS 17. So far, we'll continue testing that. And of course, the iPhone SE lost about 30 minutes or so. Now, if you guys want to see a test perform on the iPhone 14, 13, and 12, of course, as I mentioned, make sure you let me know in those comments down below. Click the like button so that I know. Thank you for watching. These are going to be the results for you guys. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. I was surprised by the iPhone 11. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.